to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again with another edition of My Damn Hauls. I don't know what episode it is. I don't remember the last time we had a My Damn Hauls episode, but I figured we'd change it up a little bit. You guys can see we have, like, uh, the first person view, or I guess it's not really first. I guess for you it's first person view, but for me it's, like, third person. You, you get the deal. It's not where it's flipped around, right? It's not in the, in the filming station where we have all the packages there. I figured I could pull sort of a Kyle Peterson style situation where he does his weekly purchases. That's kind of what I'm going to do for this episode of My Damn Hauls. You guys can let me know if you like it this way or if you like it the original way where we have, you know, it flipped around and it's just all the packages there and then we one by one show things off or do you guys like it in front? You guys can let me know all those things, but a huge shout out to my man Kyle Peterson. Really enjoy his channel, man. I don't know what it is. I just, I just love the guy. I, I'd love to go on a toy hunt, collab with the guy. He's, he's just a, a beast. I love the guy. Kyle Peterson, highly recommended. Nonetheless, man, today we have some epic stuff going on. I'm just going to kind of recap what I picked up this week, you know, kind of like he does with his weekly pur purchases episodes, and I'm going to run through what I've got. I actually have some new stuff that you guys have not seen before as well. We got a couple packages here, so it should be really fun. We're just going to run through it and all those different things, man. We'll recap the week a little bit with, you know, what we grabbed this week, all the different figures from all of our toy hunts and all these different things, man. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight into it with what we grabbed this week, and then we can move on. So, the first thing that we grabbed this week, guys, we have a lot of loose figures here. Now, some of these we got loose because we opened the packaging. All right, we do have some stuff that's still mocked, but the things that I opened up out of the packaging is what we have here first. So the first thing we grabbed was Bobby Lashley. This is the uh, Elite 89, I think, Bobby Lashley. You found that on one of our toy hunts. I figured what a great time to grab it. I really like the boot mold on the guy. I think this is my third of this figure, second of this figure. Maybe my third or second. I can't remember. You know, I lose count really, really easily there. But Bobby Lashley, great looking figure. I like it a lot. You know, he recently was injured, so hopefully he'll be back soon, but there is the Bobby Lashley figure. I definitely wanted to showcase that. We also have a couple AEW figures. Now, this is one we grabbed on our toy hunt. This is the AEW and Match Series number two, Santana. We grabbed this on our toy hunt where we grabbed Wardlow. We'll see him in just a moment, but we did keep him in packaging, but I thought it was really excellent. Uh, I got it for the parts mainly. You know, I wanted to have some things to switch around, all those different things, so Santana's looking pretty good here, and uh, he'll, he'll be a future custom, you know? I, I don't really... Every, like, multiple AEW figure that I buy when I have a multiple of a figure, usually I, I have like one to two loose maybe, and then the rest stay mock, given like the, you know, the 10 or whatever unmatched series one Kenny's. If that were WWE Elites, you guys know that I always open all my Elites pretty much, so that's where I differ in the AEWs, man. I don't have a ton of figures to fix up, which is why we don't see a ton of those on action figure surgery all the time, is because I'm constantly keeping those guys in the box. I don't free them out that often. I do have a decent sized loose AEW figure collection, but not a lot to, you know, play around with and <laughs> not a lot to switch up and things like that. So we do have Santana right here. I thought that was a solid pickup as well. And then we got Unmatched Series 1 Darby Allen. Now, this is probably not the only one of this that we will see. Again, like I just said, right, I don't have a lot of copies to just play with and, and fix up and customize. So I figured get some extra of the Darby Allen. Again, we I wanted more of the Unmatched Series 1 because he has the full sleeve tattoo. That's what, you know, it's updated. It's the most recent. So I did want a few of those to customize. So this is our first loose one. I got that from my boy Jonathan, and we may see a few more of that in this video. We got a decent selection of Darby Allens in this in this video. Now, moving things right along with what we picked up, we also have a few more loose figures right here, and we have the Walmart exclusive Unmatched Series number two Sting or the Luminaries collection with the half Darby face paint and the half Sting face paint. I grabbed this figure because I had to, right? I've been on the look for it. You know, uh, my boy Michael actually sent me a mock version for the collection. I have that one on ice. It is put away for a rainy day and then I do have my loose version here trying to get the loose completion set for AEW and the mock completion set so you know to, to have that done we did find this on a toy hunt yesterday definitely go check out that toy hunt it was absolutely crazy the packaging for this guy was beat to absolute hell so I went ahead and opened him up there and uh, I, I like it a lot so we do have the sting here it's it's just the same right every sting figure so far is the same you have your you have your version with the coat of course and in, in like the right face paint then you have the one that has the 
different decal on the shirt. So uh, it's not a lot of differences going on, but I did like the Sting figure there. So we added him to the loose AEW figure collection. Very thankful for that. Up next, we do have quite a few Marvel Legends figures. Now we have a bunch of loose figures here, and I'm just going to go through them one by one. First of all, we did grab the integrated suit Spider-Man here from No Way Home. Beautiful looking figure. I wanted to, uh, I've been looking for this figure forever. Finally found him at retail. Had to cop it. You know, it's a must cop. Once they drop the three pack with Garfield, Holland, and McGuire, that will be a set that I, I, I don't want to know how many I'll buy. Okay, let's just say that. Also, when they drop the Willem Dafoe Marvel Legend, oh my god, I've already pre-ordered the Hot Toy. I, I'm sure they're going to make SH Figure Arts and, and different Mafex and all these different companies and it's just going to be a bidding war for MDT on which one I buy and which ones I pass on and I'm in the process of getting an app, you know, a replica helmet. I'm also in the process of, uh, I'm probably going to get a Green Goblin tattoo. I know I'm insane, but uh, that's probably where we're going. I'm probably going to get one on my left leg. I think I'm going to have a full left leg sleeve and after that, uh, I'll have both arms done in my chest and then I'm going to call it a day. Still plenty more work to be done. My arms are almost completed, but uh, yeah, that's probably going to be one of my first leg tattoos and stuff like that, but uh, that's besides the point. Anyways, we got integrated suit Spider-Man. Next up, we have the black and gold suited Spider-Man. Now, this one right here is one that I know is not screen accurate, right? It's not screen accurate whatsoever, but uh, at the same time, I, I like the figure, and I figured I needed it, you know, if I'm trying to get, like, all the different suits from the MCU made in Marvel Legends form, then this is one that you have to get, right? You have to get it. I'm hoping we get a re-release down the line, or maybe, like, a three-pack or a two-pack or something that, that makes the figure more accurate, if, if you will. Like, they'll re-release re it with maybe the iPhone strapped to the to the chesticle or give us some more detailed look at it. I don't know. We, we, we may get that one day. We may not, but I went ahead and grabbed that anyway. Next up, guys, we did grab a couple more Marvel Legends. We did get the J. Jonah Jameson. Gotta, gotta go ahead and rep my boy here. You know, seeing him return for No Way Home was excellent, and at the end of Far From Home was awesome, and then we also picked up Miles Morales. So we got Miles Morales as well as J. Jonah Jameson. I had, I, I saw both of these. I couldn't pass on them. You know, the figures that I've been looking for forever at retail. Finally found them and had to, you couldn't, you couldn't pass it up. So so I went ahead and grabbed those guys as well. But those are our loose figures, I believe. We do have some mock figures, which we'll also go through really, really quickly before we get into our unpackaging style stuff. But uh, the only... Uh, no, we got a couple Marvel Legends mock right now. First up, we do have the integrated suit Spider-Man that is mock. Again, was looking for this figure forever and found two in one location, which is something you don't see a lot of. So I was happy to see that. We got integrated suit mock. And my brother even hit me up yesterday. He was like, are you insane starting a mock Marvel Legends? Legends collection Yes. And the other mock Marvel Legends that we got was the Symbiote Spider-Man. We kind of discussed, you know, the how accurate it is. It's not really accurate. It's it's not really Symbiote Spider-Man. It's more of just, you know, it's more of just the black suit Spider-Man. It's not really Symbiote Spider-Man because, you know, it is missing some things to make it accurate and stuff like that. But still a badass figure. It still looks really cool. I love the way it looks mock. I love the way it looks in general. I will definitely be getting two, possibly three copies of this figure if I can. And that will definitely be something that we do there. Again, man, these need more room in the collection room. That way I can uh, hang up the Marvel Legends, get a nice display going, have the Spider-Mans from the ceiling, all those different things. I feel like with Marvel Legends and kind of my non-wrestling related style collections, I can get a lot more creative with the displays because I won't constantly be taking them down. Even though I may do a couple Marvel Legends reviews on the channel, let me know if you guys want to see it. I, I, feel, I thought about if they do make, you know, uh, or when they do make uh, n more No Way Home figures, I thought about reviewing those as the first kind of, you know, Marvel Legends reviews here on the channel, so we'll see how that goes. I may even review the Hot Toys Green Goblin. We'll see. Now, next up, guys, we do have some mock AEW figures. The first one we got is the AEW and Rivals Series number three, Darby. This makes my fifth of this figure. You know, I do have five of these mock. I have one loose, and I got this from my boy Jonathan. I bought both of his Darby Allens. I bought the Unmatched Series one, and I bought his uh, Unrivaled Collection Series number three. Moving right along, guys, we also have a couple more AEW and Match Series two figures. We did grab Wardlow, and we also also grab Tay Conti. Now, the only figure that I am missing from AEW Match Series number two is going to be Sting, the regular version, not the, un, you know, not the, the Luminaries Collection sort of, uh, I think they're both Luminaries Collection, but the Chase Walmart exclusive or whatever with the half Darby, half Sting. That is the, uh, the, the regular one, just the straight up Sting. And then, of course, the Chase figures, but out of the regular set, no Chases. I am missing just the regular Sting from that wave. Cannot find it. I've found every figure now from that wave outside of the Chase MJ 
JDF, one of 3,000 in the chase, one of 5,000 Sting. That's the only figure I'm missing is the regular Sting. I can't find it anywhere, man. Every, like, I, f I found multiples of Take Conti, Santana, Ortiz, Wardlow, MJF. I cannot find Sting, and uh, he eludes me, so maybe we'll find that one day. And the last mock figure that we actually grabbed here today for this My Damn Halls episode is actually going to be the one of 5,000 Chase variant Darby Allen figure, bro. What a beautiful looking Chase figure. I don't know if it's focusing or not, regardless of the fact. There it is in all its glory. We have the 1 of 5,000 Chase figure. This makes my second mock Chase figure so far in my collection. I have the 1 of 1,000 Series 2 Unrivaled MJF. Now I have the Series 1 Unmatched 1 of 5,000 Darby Allen, which is beautiful. So outside of the 1 of 500 Unrivaled 3, we have every Darby Allen mock and loose so far. Not loose, because I don't have this one loose, you stupid idiot. Need to get that guy in a Defender case, but that's the last mock figure we have, man. Trying to expand upon the chases. Trying to expand the collection in general. Just lots of collecting going on this year, man. Lots of goals this year. Hopefully, we can accomplish a lot of those, but let's get into our packages for this episode. Now, this first package actually comes from my man, Jaden Flores, who made a trade with me, and it kind of feels heavy. I don't think he just put the one figure in here, so he may have threw in some extra goodies, which would have been really cool, but I'm going to open this guy up. You guys can see here. I'm just going to unwrap the packaging right here. Really cool box, it seems like. Really cool box. I don't even know what this is. It's like a bunny seed feeder. Anyways, that's pretty cool. You can like open it up like so. Dude, that's a really dope box. I, I appreciate this package. Job. Look at that. How cool is it? I'm, I'm going to keep this box. So I don't think he threw in anything extra. However, still a really cool box, but we got another unmatched Series 1 Darby Allen. So we did conduct a, tr a trade here. Figure feels really good in hand. Huge shout out to Jaden. He threw in the leather jacket as well. It's in really good condition. I was worried, you know, when you make trades, man, you may get a figure that's like about to fall over dead at any moment, but this figure feels really good in the joints and stuff like this. So this will make my third loose unmatched one Darby to go along with the four mock ones, but this is dope. Expanding the Darby Allen collection, again, wanting to get more of this just for customs, really. Customs and fix-ups and trying to get creative with them. You guys know how I am, just randomly wanting to do things. So there is that, man. Figures overflowing for sure, but huge shout out to Jaden again, man. Thank you so much for the trade. I'll send out, I'll get your figure sent out as soon as possible. Possible. And now we have the final thing of the day, which is going to be these Nike ID shoes. Yes, I went on Nike by you, and I'll try to explain everything. I don't know how many sneaker heads we have, but maybe you'll just stick around for the for the whole ordeal here as I explain it. Now, if you guys didn't know, you can go back in the day, back when I was younger, it was called Nike ID. Now it's called Nike by you, and it's basically where you can go on Nike.com and customize and make your own shoes out of the pre-selected choices that you have. And it's honestly going downhill. It's not near as exciting as as good as when I was a kid, you know, in like 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012. That was probably the prime years of Nike ID, if you ask me. But you can still get on there and make some pretty good heat and fire. So I went on there and I customized a pair of Giannis Nike Zoom Freak 3s. And I'd never owned the shoe before, but uh, I had an idea. I I'll just explain it. So here's what the shoe looks like. It's not, it's not MDT themed. It's not nothing. You guys are probably like, damn, that's pretty effing boring, if you ask me. The reason I went with this color the way. Okay, let me explain it. So, when I was a kid, Kobe was my favorite player, and then one of my other favorite players ever is Dwayne Wade, okay? And when Dwayne Wade, no matter what year it was, what shoe model he wore, this man always had a PE, which is a player exclusive, that always featured, like, a black main part of the shoe, and then the forefoot, and, like, most of the front of the shoe was always, like, a white color way. He always had this, like, black and white color way with the toe box and, like, the surrounding area, similar to a Jordan 11, would have a white paneling, and then he had, like, the black. So you guys can see here, it's like white in the front and black on the top there. And I just always loved that look. And so I tried to track down a pair of his Air Jordan 2010s from 2010, like his PEs. Can't really find them anywhere. And if you do find them, they're thousands of dollars. And then he even had a pair of Way of Wade 7s, which is his signature shoe, you know, a couple models ago now. But the Way, to, Way of Wade 7 was in a colorway very, very similar to this. And I could not for the life of me, I've been looking for years, I could not find a pair of Jordan 20s. 2010s with that colorway that I'm talking about. I couldn't find any of the Way of Wades in the colorway that I'm talking about where you have the white paneling on the front and the black and, you know, just the black and white colorway. So you, I said, you know what?
what? Let me go on Nike IED, Nike by you, and see if I can find any pair of shoes to hoop in that uh, I can kind of replicate that colorway. And I found the Zoom Freak 3s, and I customized them up, and they look pretty damn identical to the shoe or very, very close to it. I even put a W on the tongue here for Wade, and then on the inside here, I put Wade right there. So that's what they're inspired by. They're inspired by Dwayne Wade's and his PEs and stuff. So that's the whole identification behind the shoe, and I thought it turned out pretty solid there. You even got the black swoosh here. It looks just like the, the inspiration, so I'm excited to hoop in them. Got the clear icy sole on it. Got the black and white. I think they look clean. I'm excited to hoop in them. We'll see how that goes. I'll let you guys know how that goes, but no, it's a little bit different. Not, you know, not our usual takes there, or, you know, not figure related, but if you guys give a damn, then you can let me know. If you don't, well, then you don't. So that's all there is to it, but I think that pretty much wraps up this edition of My Damn Hauls. The shoe feels pretty good on foot, by the way. Like, I feel like I'm going to be able to get some buckets and drop some dimes with them, so I think they'll be pretty solid, but that is going to wrap up My Damn Hauls for this episode, man. Again, let me know down below if you guys like the the one-on-one -on -one confrontation like this, or if you like the classic way of flipping it around, you guys can be the judge there, but anyways, man, use code MD Toys when shopping over at Ringside Collectibles. Grab all your WWE and AEW action figures and play sets and all those things. Plenty of great things to come to the channel, man, but I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video, and don't cross the line like me, and, and start collecting a new line that you don't need. You cross the line, I've been